there for some reason. Kind of weird. Unwrapping this. Can't get all the wrapping off of it. Yep, zero glide. I have to change these heavy gauge strings they sent on these uh, these units by default. It's kind of a medium, kind of a medium, medium gauge. Look, look, look too much for me, so I'm gonna change the strings and be back with a product review. Gotta have these. I love these. Didn't come with great strings, so. Taking the big gigantic meeting gauge strings off and putting these babies on here. These are the good ones. Boom. Alright, so I just got the the new gold tone. Let's get that off there. This is the uh, OB150 RF, which stands for Radius Fret. That board, kind of nice. And, uh, see it here. Satin finish. Very uh, slick. I just got this new cheap Amazon strap today, just to because I couldn't hold it on my my lap. It was just. Sliding off because it's just a set and finish, it's really slick. And, uh, a couple more specs here. So, this banjo has um, it's maple, three out, I guess, maple uh, neck, maple resonator. It's, uh, see it there, it's kind of getting dark down here in Oregon. So, anyway. Um, so I got this banjo, so I thought I'd just test it out. And I'm probably gonna return it, probably. But uh, I don't know though, I'm not, I'm not sure yet. You know, it's Amazon, you can return these banjos. And, and uh, so anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, come back on. pretty heavily that hey this thing's gonna be set up when it comes and all this and and I was a bit skeptical of that and um, it really wasn't set up it was it was a lot of tune it comes with uh, this these banjos come uh, strung with some kind of kind of medium gauge strings I'm not a medium gauge string fan um, so um, I, I right away put a set of Huber you know lights on it and it's my go-to string now. I love these Huber, these Huber strings. So anyway, uh, I'll leave a link to the strings in the description here. But anyway, um, this banjo is pretty. It just plays well. It's pretty snappy. But great, you know, for less the scrug stuff. The radius fretboard is nice for. Uh, you know,
It's got some really nice up the neck, you know. It's very responsive. Um, overall, it's, it's a, I, I think if I was to keep this banjo, this would be like my travel banjo. I'm heading down to Cali and things like that, you know, to stay for the winter. Um, so I would be bringing my, my really nice banjos down, traveling. It's hot down there. Anyway, so this is a great banjo. I would recommend it. Um, I can't wait to try the Bluegrass Hard Banjo here soon. I'll get my hands on one of those at some point somewhere in the next year or two I'm sure and uh, <clears throat> but I really want to try this this is kind of a, a lower grade of that banjo it's got some of the main I think the the pot assembly is a little bit pretty close to the same as a bluegrass heart banjo I think and uh, the neck is probably not too far off I think the neck on the bluegrass heart is probably a little bit chunkier maybe a little wider the suits be I was surprised I thought this would be a little wider neck as a radius but it's really not it's not really it's, a, it's about, it's, it, seems, it seems like a slimmer than my neck fill. I have a neck fill phantom, you know, and um, it's, I, think, I think it's actually a little slimmer. So, it's a good banjo though. <laughs> Thank you. 